What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with a comprehensive roundup of all things Anthem from Germany's Gamescom today. That includes a huge reveal for the Anthem team, a special dev tracker with John Warner getting a piece of that Ask Me Almost Anything About Anthem action, demo information, and so much more. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get into it. The first piece of epic news is that Bioware just released the name of the composer for the game. That individual is the one and only Miss Sarah Schnackner. I am so incredibly sorry if I butchered your name. You may recognize her work from television and movies such as Now You See Me 1 and 2, Iron Man 3, The Lazarus Effect, and games such as Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Assassin's Creed Origins. As if Anthem couldn't get any better, now we have an absolutely top-notch composer handling Anthem's score. Now onto John Warner's special segment for the video. Today he had answered some of the questions from the community and some of which have already been answered before, but some are relatively new nevertheless, and some are incredible incredibly exciting. As many of you know, these tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Sorry, it's just a habit at this point. The first one we've got is from Red Cacus, who tweets to John in regards to post-launch. He tweets, What are some of the things that they are planning to do to keep players returning to Anthem after launch? John replied that they have exciting plans for post-launch, aka the endgame, and they'll be talking about it later on in the campaign. Another fan tweets in regards to what the experience will be like once you are a max level freelancer. Will there be an additional system to encourage the grind? John's taking a cue from Mark Darrow with the short and sweet responses that says it all. This next tweet essentially boils down to if we will see a video soon on the remaining two javelins, aka the Storm and Interceptor. John replies that it would be possible. Nicholas Finn tweets if there will be other biomes in Anthem other than jungle and water areas. John replies that most are set in the jungle with a few surprises yet to come. Possibly the volcanic area we see in the background of the Dominion concept art we saw a little while back. William Durati tweets if it will be possible to name your character. John replies that it is possible and you can even set your own call sign. MCG tweets about how much sooner you will be able to play Anthem if you have EA access for Xbox. John replies it'll be on the 15th of February, aka 7 days before launch. Surge Light tweets if there will be a fixed schedule for major in-game events or will they just pop up at random. Surge Light might be referencing a similar system in Warframe's events. John replies that there will be some major fixed events and some random pop-up ones thrown in there as well. Brandon Jorgensen tweets in regards to the Colossus' shield and what other javelins might have in that slot if there are other abilities that can be in place of that slot. John replied that the shield isn't a gear slot, more of a damage mitigation ability. For instance, the Ranger has a dash and the Storm has a teleport for their damage mitigation abilities. He teases that there will be more on the Interceptor later, and John, you're just torturing me at this point. 2B tweets if there will be a gameplay test at Gamescom for the attendees to try out. John said that there would be, but only by appointment. However, the most interesting part of this tweet was in the details about the demo that would be coming very soon. John, you've gone from torturing me to killing me. Daiki asks if there will be an in-game chat system available for both group chats and solo free play voice chats with randoms. John states that in Anthem, there will be a game chat supported for squad and reinforcing freelancers in instances. Samur Yunus tweets if there will be fast travel to teammates in Anthem. John replied that you can spawn close to your teammates when you join, but from there, it's a simple airfare free trip to your team. Another fan tweets if there will be different factions or groups that we can pledge our allegiance to for special rewards like the Arcanists, the Agents, Cyphers, Lancers, and so on. John replied, not in the way that we are thinking. Hardcore VR naturally tweets if there will be VR supported at post-launch. John replied that it is possible and never say never. Okay, John, you went from torturing me to killing me to now ghost busting my ghostly spirit. Come on, man. Anyways, freelancers, that about does it for now. Tomorrow, I will have a predictions video live about two hours before the Anthem gameplay at Gamescom comes out, so be sure to check that out as a chaser before the event. But that's about it for now, my freelancer friends. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video as it helps me out more than you can even possibly imagine. Also, a huge shout out to my patrons for their generous donations and helping me to keep your Anthem funded. Anyways, freelancers, I'm off to bed. I'll see you all in the morning bright and early. Peace out, everyone.